What's up ladies and gentlemen, it seems there are quite a number of ways in which you can always play your black opening repertoires even with white pieces. Yes, in my previous video I did cover 5 different openings for black or you can call them defenses that you can also play in white. So in this video, I'm going to show you more defenses for black that you can also play as white together with all the traps involved in those black openings. So if you like the idea of playing the same opening with black and white, let me know in the comment section down below and hey I have a puzzle for you guys at the end of this video which I want you to solve and leave your answers in the comment section down below. I'm going to check your answers and shout out your names in my next video. Let's get started. Our first defense of interest with black pieces is the anti-London system where white starts with d4 then you go knight f6 and after bishop f4 you simply play pawn to c6 waiting for them to play pawn to e3 you can see that's the top played move after which you now test their patience right on move 3 with a move pawn to g5. I have won a lot of games with this simple trick you guys where most of my opponents play the second most played move bishop takes g5 which is a blunder because that loses a piece in one move queen a5 check so that's just a little trap to keep in mind just in case white doesn't take and let's say they go bishop g3 well you simply continue with knight e4 trying to get rid of that dark squared bishop by the way you could have also played pawn to d6 or pawn to h5 queen b6 you're not restricted to what you're supposed to do so you need to be flexible in chess in this position your opponent can try one tricky move bishop e5 never make a mistake of playing pawn to f6 because that will lead to mate in one you guys so always use your mind the move is rook g8 instead of pawn to f6 and from here you're just going to have a normal game for example if knight takes you take the dark squad bishop and on the next move you still go queen a5 check with the idea of winning the pawn on e5 the question is can we still play this same opening trick with white mm, let's see all right, now you're having white pieces and the new opening move that we are going to cover first is pawn to a3. In my previous video, we were looking at the move pawn to a4 on the first move, but one debate that came up was this one to do with pawn to a3 on the first move. E.g. one guy called influential one patterns and another guy called the X stood commented etc. And yes, I did agree to most of these statements, which is why we are looking at pawn to a3 in the first part of this video. The advantage of a3 is that we have a possibility of playing queen a4 check and win a free piece along the fourth rank. For example, in the case of the anti-London system that we just covered, if black plays pawn to d5 after we play a3, we can simply go pawn to c3. The aim is to play our Karakan black repertoire, but Stockfish here seems to like bishop a5 right in this position, which is also played by over 3000 black players. So you can just continue with knight to a3 and here you can see that pawn to e6 is by far the top played move and this is where you can test your opponent's patience while you play pawn to g4 immediately and you will see some of your unprepared opponents taking this pawn thinking it's free but here you have queen a4 check Casper signature move that will allow you to take the free bishop on g4 but one may ask what if black doesn't take the pawn on g4 i mean after you play pawn to g4 let's say they go bishop g6 but once again you have many options you can go pawn to d3 if you want pawn to h4 but following what we did with black you can also go knight e5 wanting to get rid of black's bishop in case they try this little trick bishop e4 once again don't fall for this blunder you guys where black can mate you in one like this the move once again is rook g1 and let's say knight d7 you just go for the bishop because once again after this trade sequence you have queen a4 check and you're going to win back your pawn develop your bishop and knight and castle long all right let's move on opening number two the anti-accelerated london system where white starts with d4 then instead of knight to f6 you immediately go pawn to d5 if they play bishop a4 the accelerated London system. Now you rush with pawn to h5. I guess most of you guys know this trick by now where you immediately win white's bishop. After they play the top played move, you can see with your own eyeballs, pawn to e3, which is a blunder because now you have pawn to e5 that traps white's dark squared bishop instantly. I mean, there's just nothing that white can do to save their bishop. So pawn to e3 is such a very bad move because it allows pawn to e5 on move 3. So instead of pawn to e3, what if white plays knight to f3? Let's say they know this trap 
Well, here you can just go bishop g4. Your aim is just to take the knight. By the way, knight e5 is not scary because your bishop is already defended. So you just continue your normal development. That's why the top plate move is pawned to e3 by white. After which you can now go bishop takes f3. You get rid of that knight. And once again, go for white's dark squared bishop like this in order to trap it on the next move. By the way, white may play a desperado move in this position since they know that their dark squared bishop would die anyways like bishop takes g5. Well, you can just take. Here you adjust a piece up with many open lines for your active pieces. That's why stockfish gives you a negative 1.1 advantage. If bishop d3, I mean, wanting to give you a check on g6, well, you can just go queen d6. Stopping bishop g6 check and on the next move you are going to develop your knight castle long. If knight c3 while well, you hold everything with knight e7. This helps your queen to defend the d5 pawn and also eyeballing the g6 square. If knight b5 attacking your queen you just go queen b6 and all your problems are over. You will develop as highlighted and castle long. The question is can we play these same lines with white? The answer is yes. So once again we can begin with a3 then let's say pawn to d5 you go d4 and if you check the leeches database bishop a5 is played by over 73,000 people so it's one line to prepare for when you're starting this rare opening so after bishop f5 again you rush with h4 and look at this you guys again pawn to e6 is the top played move which is a blunder because of the same trick that i showed you with black pieces you simply go pawn to e4 because whatever black does you're going to trap his light squared bishop like this but one may ask what if black doesn't play pawn to e6 on move 3 and let's say they go knight to f6 well, once again, you just go bishop g5, just like what we did with black pieces. Once again, you're not scared of knight e4 attacking your bishop because it's already defended by your h pawn. That's why they play pawn to e6, the top played move. And this allows you to take if queen takes, again, you do the same bishop hunt until death. If bishop takes g4, just like what happened with black pieces, you just take back and they may play bishop d6. After which you go queen d3 stopping bishop g3 check. And if knight c6 double attacking your d4 pawn you go knight e2. Remember with black pieces you played knight e7 to hold everything. Now it's knight e2 eyeballing the g3 square and also helping your queen to defend your d4 pawn. And thanks to this pawn black now doesn't have knight b5 to attack your queen. So once again you can see with your own eyeballs that you are winning with no any problem. Instead of pawn to e6 which is a blunder or knight to f6, if black plays the second most played move knight to c6 on move 3, well remember that you only want to play pawn to e4 after black plays pawn to e6. So you can just keep on developing your pieces normally knight c3 so that after they play pawn to e6 again the top played move, now that's when you can go for the bishop hunt until you kill that bishop. This time maybe on a5. Now this is the moment where you guys should allow me to thank the following patrons who support our Casper Chess group financially and some of the extra works that I do on Patreon. Vivek, Mike, Alan, Bassam, Adrian, David, Dwayne, Sean, Eric and the rest of the guys that you are seeing on the screen right now. You can see the list goes on and on. These are the guys who keep this channel running and active out of their love. They support our Casper Chess group financially and in return i give them extra materials that i don't post on youtube to thank all of these guys in style thank you for supporting my channel once again and yep one of my supportive members is samson simpson thank you guys if you want to become part of the casper chess community you can simply follow me on patreon and become a member let's move on Enough of the d4 d5 stuff, now let's look at the king's pawn game as well. Opening number 3, the Nims Wish Defense Kennedy Variation. This is one of my favorite openings guys. Where white starts with e4 you go knight c6 and I'll go very fast so pay attention. White likes playing pawn to d4 especially in over the board games and the Kennedy Variation is where you go pawn to e5 immediately inviting pawn to d5 the top played move. Now you go knight c7 deliberately giving white the whole center to dominate with his pawns. Just to relocate your knight to the king's side 
and going by the top plate move they play knight c3 after which you go bishop b4 pinning the knight whatever white does the idea is to just trade off your dark squared bishop but this line gives you access to the juicy a4 square where you can plant your knight which is why most white players prefer keeping their dark squared bishop along this diagonal to keep an eye on the a4 square so they may play knight to f3 in this position after you play bishop b4 then still the idea is to trade off your dark squared bishop mess up your opponent pawn structure along the c file and go pawn to d6 immediately again everybody plays bishop d3 after which you go knight f6 they castle short you castle short as well and whenever you see bishop g5 you go pawn to h6 chasing that bishop away but keep in mind that bishop e3 supports the upcoming pawn to c5 so this is where you play pawn to b6 if pawn to a4 you stop the pawn advancement with pawn to a5 locking your queen side completely so that you can now start playing from the king side for example if pawn to h3 you now want to plant one of your knights on a4 and leave it there for good white may think knight takes e5 wins a free pawn since the white queen is indirectly attacking your knight on h5 but you have knight takes e5 anyways and on the next move you're going to win a free bishop so that's just a little trap to know in the Kennedy variation names of which defense. The question is, can we still play this same exact line with white pieces? Let's see. So once again, it's up to you to go pawn to a3 or pawn to a4 for you to try and play your black opening repertoire. And now you go knight c3, you can see pawn to d5 is by far the top played move, after which you now play e4. Inviting black to play the top played move, pawn to d4, as you can see, now you go knight c e2, you can see... The idea is still the same. Let's say knight to f6, you defend your e4 pawn with knight g3, giving black the whole center to dominate with his pawns. And now you go knight f3 attacking this pawn, so they have to defend it like this. Now you go bishop b5 pinning the knight to the king. You can see bishop d6 is the top played move, after which you trade off your light squared bishop just like what we did with black pieces. And now you go pawn to d3 to stop, pawn to c4. They can cast a shot or play bishop g4 or whatever. Remember you need to chase this bishop away with pawn to h3. They can't play bishop h5, you're just going to take. If they play bishop e6, again the idea is to push pawn to c4 maybe. And that's why you have to play pawn to b3 stopping pawn to c4. And once again you can see that we have locked the pawn structure on the queen side. And now we want to concentrate on the king side. For example if they cast a shot, we can cast a shot as well a5 now we go knight h4 with the idea of planting our king's knight on the juicy a5 square for good if black thinks he can win a free pawn on e4 like this since the black king is indirectly attacking the knight on h4 well this is a blunder because we just end up winning a free bishop just like what we did with white pieces ladies and gentlemen this is a very effective idea i advise you to try this trick while you play the same opening with white and black pieces just to save your time and concentrate on one repertoire mm -hmm. Allow me to appreciate and thank the following patrons who sponsor my channel and some of the extra works that I do on Patreon. Vivek, Mike, Alan, Bassam, Adrian, David, Dwayne, Sean, Eric and the rest of the guys that you are seeing on the screen right now. You can see the list goes on and on. These are the guys who keep this channel running and active out of their love. They support our Casper Chess group financially and in return, I give them extra materials that I don't post on YouTube to thank all of these guys in style. Thank you for supporting my channel once again. And yep, one of my supportive members is Samson Simpson. Thank you guys. If you want to become part of the Casper Chess community you can simply follow me on patreon and become a member and that's it for today you guys if at all you enjoyed watching this video you know what to do hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new so that we can grow this community together until next time bye bye